check the mic and make sure it sound right. Okay. Bye. Uh, you know, a lot of countries uh, have a tattoo culture. Like, you know, India has its own tattoo culture, like deep rooted, you know, tribes have tattoos, J- Japan, the Maori tattoos, you know, South American. You know, for many years, I didn't know this, but my great grandmom had tattoos, you know, she had like this thing. And I didn't know, like, she had one until I got mine and I came to know. And my grandmom told me, you know, my mother had a tattoo. So, you know, why are you, what are you worried about? Because I was so scared to, you know, show to people and all that. And I came to know that these people who have tattoos, it is a small design, like a parrot or, you know, like a small kind of a bird or something. They, they were allowed to cook in rituals and, you know, funerals and marriages only if they were tattooed. So it was wow. that deep in the culture. I'm talking about in Tamil Nadu uh, about probably 100 years ago. But my question to you is when things were so deep rooted in our culture, where did tattoo become a taboo? You know, it's like where at what stage did people start thinking, oh, no, don't get a tattoo. You won't get a corporate job. You won't get that. You won't get this. When did it become a negative thing in the society? You know, See, I think even my grandfather had big tattoo on his thigh. His thigh had a big Krishna portrait. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, that time it was there. But I think as our parents and their generation started to become busy with studies and work, because before that, there was not really, you know, they, they were born pre-independence, great-grandfather yeah. great yeah. and grandfather. So, that time, everything, I, think, I have no idea about that time, but the generation of our parents, I think they were more or at least you know towards studying and towards getting yeah. a government job yeah, yeah so i think everything like tattoos and all these old traditions fizzled out somewhere and also if i see from a technical point of view it was not very sterile and hygiene and people must have come to know about you know like this guy is just tattooing uh, from the same needle to everybody whereas okay go to a hospital, the doctor changes the syringe. I think that much of awareness these people might have got. How and big is that, of a problem even now, uh, by How big is that problem now in India? Are people becoming more uh, kind of like aware and they're maintaining good practices? Like I know your devil status is outstanding, but you know, the smaller kind of people who are coming up, is there a sense of awareness that they have to maintain good kind of quality in their work? See, the smaller kind of studios... I cannot say for everyone, but there are some studios which my uh, students have seen, say, there are places in Delhi like Pallika Bazaar. Mm. Yeah, very, very cheap tattoos. Correct, correct. Some yeah. They'll do it for 5,000 rupees, they'll do it for 500 rupees. But, and they will show you a new needle. They'll show you a new needle, they will put the new needle, actually. They'll do it with a new needle. But apart from the needle, everything else stays the same. Oh my Most God. of them are not wearing gloves. Now the needle is there. The needle goes into inside a tube, Correct. in which the blood and ink accumulates. Yeah. That tube remains the same. Yeah, definitely the tube remains the same. Wow. But the client just knows you want to just see a new needle, but he has put everything same from the previous line. Put the needle in the same tube which he has used for many tattoos before. Not even sterilize that tube. You can see, go and see because these guys check, and they don't have autoclaves to sterilize that metal tubes so they are not you this there is definitely uh, disinfecting or autoclaving or sterilizing this yeah tube. but the client can see the new needle so they become you know they think like everything is going fine so the the the, the needle is definitely new but everything even the ink cap in which they pull the black ink yeah yeah and dip the needle is the same because a little bit of ink is left in that they'll pour it again in that and there's when you poke someone with that needle, there's blood on that needle, which also gets transferred to that ink cap. Oh my God. So a lot of people are doing that. that. One of my students went to this Pallika Bazaar area and he said that the the, the, the artist, so-called artist, had put, there was a sofa, a raxine leatherette kind of sofa, fake leather, and he had he'd taken out Vaseline like this uh, scoop and put it on the side of the hand rest of the sofa. Just and true. that... And it was still going on for two or three clients. The same Vaseline he was doing it. Oh my God. (laughs) So many things are there. And uh, because there is no authority to regulate this business in India. Mm. People are just doing whatever they want. And uh, on the other side, people are just looking for 
cheap tattoos. A lot of people they're not looking for the art, and they're not looking for what the artists are using. Correct. What are the uh, hygiene standards that they're following? And you know, they should ask. If, basically, it's very easy to fool a client. Huh? Yeah. Any one can say anything, and yeah. you will believe it. So yeah. I think the client should do their research. That what all things should be, should they be looking for before going for it? Yeah. What all things should be disposable and changed? That's a, a little bit of research towards the client. I think they should start doing it so that these kind of tattoo artists, you know, they stop existing and they at least they level up their game a little bit and start doing, start yeah. taking proper measures. So you think because of all these kind of like mishaps that happen, like people getting infected because of certain studios not doing certain yeah. things, and over a period of time, this has led to kind of a, a bad kind of press for tattoos in the country. Do you think is that because we just discussed great grandmom having tattoos to now again it's coming back? I'm sure there's a big jump in number of people getting tattoos. Yeah, but now there are because now there most of the studios are taking good care of the hygiene. so that's why also people are getting more and more you know they can put their trust in those studios and they are inclined towards getting a tattoo and also now see in our parents time there was no disposable income also to go and get a tattoo they were not yeah, into all they yeah. were not into that yeah they want to save save money they were, they, they were all about saving for us yeah so that is another big factor that enough and the, yeah I, i cannot think of anything else and of course the thing they might be scared Of the pain, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not something that they really need to survive. So that's yeah. why it's you know somehow fizzled out from the tradition. But before, when people were really almost tribal or super traditional, then yeah, these things used to exist. Yeah.